Hey guys, welcome back. back and hello if you are new my name is Sarah and I make gift guide videos just like this one throughout the whole entire year I also make a bunch of other content here on my channel like what's for dinner videos plus size fashion hauls home decor mommy videos daily life videos stuff like that so if any of that strikes your fancy I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sarah England and today's video is going to be the last video in my gift guide slash holiday series of 2020. I'm so excited to officially say goodbye to 2020 as I'm sure all of us are. I know that 2021 is not gonna probably be like miraculously changed overnight, but I have a lot of hope for the new year and I'm excited to see what happens and I hope you guys are filled with some hope too. Um, and yeah, so this video is just going to be what I receive for Christmas. I've shared now with you guys what I got my husband and my, uh, my girls, what I got a couple other gifts and uh, for women in my family. And this last video is what I I was able to be gifted and blessed with. Now, I didn't even know if I was gonna film this video. Um, it's a little bit later that it's going up than it normally does, but I decided, heck, I love filming this. It's really fun for me. Um, I've filmed it for the past number of years, and I've also got a lot of comments and messages from you guys asking where this video is, so I knew that you guys wanted to see it as well. And to be honest, this year was kind of interesting because I received a lot of comments on my gift guides asking, um, if I stuffed my own stockings, what my husband gets, how to kind of prompt the gift giving from a significant other, things like that. Because I know sometimes, um, especially if you're a mama, you're putting the Christmas show on, you know, you're doing all the gifting, you're shopping, doing all the shopping, doing all the stuff. And it's still, you, I'm not gonna lie, it's nice to feel rewarded and thought of too and open presents under the Christmas tree that are for you too, just like you thought about everyone else. And I, uh, a number of you guys said that you would normally do it for yourself. So I wanted just to give you guys some ideas and ways to kind of prompt for shopping for yourself in the future or having your significant other or your family members. Um, and maybe these are some good ideas. I love watching these videos. I love to see what people get for Christmas. Not only do I love watching husband gift guides and kids gift guides, but I love watching what people get for Christmas for themselves. And and it's just fun so I hope you don't take this as a brag in any way I am incredibly blessed and I'm so thankful for everything that I've received this year and receive every year and I'm tr really truly not trying to shove this in your face and be like look what I got that's totally not my intention in this video and I hope you guys know that and know my heart on that um, but if you're watching this, I'm sure you kind of are nosy like I am and want to see what I got. So we're just going to start. I will say my biggest thing is my husband does stuff my stocking. Um, it was something that he didn't do for a number of years. I think last year was the first year he kind of remembered to do it. Um, and I kind of just shrugged off every year prior. But then my girls got older and just were very aware of why not everyone was being equalized. Why everyone else got their stocking stuff besides mommy. So it was mommy naughty or something. Um, and so he's just been really good about remembering it now and just being thoughtful and putting up um, getting ideas from Pinterest so that's my biggest thing I shared this in my what I got my husband for Christmas video but we both make gift guide boards it's super super easy I just pin whatever I would like uh, whatever catches my eye both stocking stuffers both gifts what have you and I just make a Christmas wish list board for not only him but for my family and that way it's just really easy and right there and shoppable everything's picked out already color size all that type of stuff you just click and buy it's really really simple so if you have a husband who just doesn't know what to get you or um, or to get other who doesn't know what to get you or family member um, or they just need a little extra help in that area or whatnot or they just don't have the time it's just so so much easier I highly recommend doing that that's what I do for him and he does for me and then we kind of bounce off of that and expand to get each other you know a couple other gifts that we think of ourselves personally um, but it works really well I highly recommend that idea so this year I just put stockings of ideas on there and I put like regular gifts on there and that's what he really shopped from. So um, I'm just going to start. The first thing that I got is something that I actually sh showed in my, um, my women's gift guide. It's what I gave my mom and I ended up having this on my list as well. And that is the Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. I basically he got me one and I gave the exact same one to my mom. Um, but this is like a really popular item right now and I love this thing. I used it the other day and I was kind of worried because 
I am not good at hair. My hair looks like a hot mess today. I'm just kind of letting it do its own thing. Hair is not my forte. It's never been my forte. Uh, that's why I really always loved having a pixie cut too because I just literally had to do nothing. Um, and so I was nervous that this wasn't going to be super user friendly if you weren't very good with hair. But this is the easiest tool ever. It is so quick, so easy. It's honestly relaxing. I love this thing. I highly, highly recommend this. If you've been on the fence about getting it, I definitely think it's worth the price even before it's on sale, but it's been on sale like crazy lately. I'm hoping you guys can still get it on sale. Um, it is wonderful. I really, really, really like this thing. Definitely recommend it. It comes in a bunch of colors. Honestly, it's giant. I was worried about how big it was because I was worried that I didn't have enough hair. Um, to be able to make it work but it totally did without a problem and honestly you just take a piece of hair and then you just kind of twirl it like this and do your blowout um of course i'm sure you can figure out different ways to shape your hair the br the bristles do the most work for you so i just like it, you don't have to do much because the bristles grab the hair and it pretty much does all the work it's super easy really effective highly recommend this this is one of my favorite gifts all right, the next thing was something that um, was super popular at the beginning of the pandemic when everybody was staying home and they were making the like whipped coffee. This is the Milk Boss Electric Milk, milk Frother. This is from Zulay Kitchen. Um, this was on Amazon. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I don't think I picked a color, I just wanted a frother. Um, and I'm so excited. This thing works so well, it is so much fun. It doesn't steam your milk, so it doesn't make it hot. It just froths it, so you just get nice foam. Um, but if you want to be able to make like cappuccinos at home or just have more foam on your coffee or make like whipped coffee, this is so easy. I haven't done the whipped coffee yet. I'm really excited to try it now because I watched so many TikToks on that the beginning of the pandemic. So I'm, I, I'm way behind. I'm so excited. This is a really inexpensive item. I think this would be a wonderful stocking stuffer. Um, I think I did put this on as a stocking stuffer, but he wrapped it. Um, and I think that this would be really good for like Valentine's Day coming up or Easter coming up. Um, Mother's Day, this would be like if you made like a fun Mother's Day basket and included like this. This is a really cool tool. I really like it. To kind of go along with the hair item, um, this was a gift from my mother that she put in my stocking, and it is the towel wraps. Now these things, I think they were called Turby Twists back in the day were like all the rage in the 90s. My mom had them all the time and then they've come back recently from TikTok. Again, everything's TikTok related. And it's so funny because people were like, that's such a cool idea and I feel like it's been around, it's been around forever. Um, but I haven't had one in so long. Now they make them incredibly more fancy than they have done then. Back when I had them in like terry cloth towels. Um, this is like a microfiber towel. It is so thick, like, so thick it dries my hair so quickly it's so luxurious when i put it on i have missed one of these for years i don't know why it's taking me so long to ask for one or get one myself this one came in a two pack i will try to have it linked below it has a really nice button and then you just twist you put your hair up you twist it around and then you loop it and then your hair is like out of your face it's dry by itself you don't have to have a big heavy towel on your hair's not soaking everywhere i like get out of the towel get out of the shower dry my body off with a regular towel put my pajamas on put this up in my hair and then i go and do my skincare and it's wonderful it's great highly recommend these towels i think once again this would be a really great mother's day idea if your mother-in-law or your mom or your wife or your sister whoever um, needs like a fun little spa basket pick me up these would this would be a great item to add to it um, i guess we'll just stick on this stocking stuff for front just to kind of knock those out of the way um so a, a big of the no <laughs> a lot of the stocking stuffers i put on my list were all kind of beauty related um that's what i normally like to do and my husband got me a bunch of bath and body work shower gels but they have not appeared he has been so upset with the post office because everything's been delayed like crazy and it's been it, they should have arrived like a week ago and they're still not here so that hasn't worked out in his favor but um i did put a lot of like lip balm and lip care items because this is the time of year that my lips just get so dry as i'm sure everyone's does i put a carmex like four pack on here um and it comes in all these different uh since and it's fresh cherry strawberry and wintergreen and i love carmex i know some people like have big things about carmex i love them they're effective for me i like them so i got a whole pack of carmex 
and then I put two well this is what I've been really really liking lately if we're you know like if I'm not trying to wear lipstick which so much so many of us are not I like tinted lip balm or like a lip oil something tinted that's just lightweight and easy um, and these are two from Revlon the Revlon kiss bombs this one's in fresh strawberry this one is in uh, berry burst they smell super great they're SPF 20 and they're just a really really light bomb chapstick with some tint and color to them they're perfect to wear under masks because they're not sticky they don't stick to your mask but they still are really hydrating my skin for masks not only have I been having macne, maskne, but I've also been having a lot of just dryness. I don't know why. I think it's maybe the abrasion of my mask. It doesn't matter what masks I use, just the constant rubbing on my face, um, having to talk or be in stores or breathing or whatever, it's causing just like abrasion almost and like really, really, really dry skin. And so these have just been lifesavers. Um, I've been really liking them. And then I also got hand cream. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's Soap and Glory hand food. I love the smell of this. It brings me back to co college because um, I used to use this all the time when I was in college, and I it just gives me a lot of good memories. And so those are some good goodies for my skincare items. And then another thing he put in there, um, which is something that I we do every year. I already shared it in my last year's video, and I've already shared what I got him this year. Um, but our rings. So this was a new ring. I think this came from a small shop. I want to. I know it came from a small shop, but I'm pretty sure it came from Etsy, if I want to remember correctly. We don't spend a lot of money. They're not like real diamonds or anything like that. They're just really cute, eclectic style rings. Typically, um, this was mine this year. I love it. It's so dainty. It's vintage style. It's just beautiful. I think it's so pretty. I love getting a new ring every year. Um, like I said, we didn't spend a whole lot of money on our like wedding bands, engagement rings, and wedding bands, and I just said that again twice. Um, but we like to kind of, it's like a new piece. I don't wear a lot of jewelry. He doesn't wear a lot of jewelry, so it's just kind of something to add. I don't know. I don't know. I just a little special. It's probably something we should be doing on our anniversary, but we do it for Christmas, and I really, really like it. I will try to have this linked below because it's so, so beautiful. I think it looks just so dainty on the hand. I love it. Another fun thing he put in my stocking was Grogu. <laughs> um, I freaking love Baby Yoda as pretty much every single person on the planet does. And he's just my little guy. He just, I don't know, ever since we had our uh, miscarriage in June, we've just been enjoying snuggling with like stuffies because it's just really comforting. And so he has like a little otter thing that he got um, me and that he uses a lot and just kind of cuddles and we're 30 year olds, but it's whatever, it's fine. And he got me this one, he was just sticking out of my stocking and I love him. He's just so sweet. I cuddle with him every night. I freaking love Baby Yoda. And there's just something just so like comforting and cute about him. And I just want to hang out with him all the time. So he got me my cute little Grogu. Moving on. This was something that was on my list that I was so excited to get. And this is the Google Nest Hub. This is the mini version. Um, or like the not the larger one. I don't know what that one's called. Google Nest Max. Pro something. There's a larger version, but this is the first original version came out. You can see it over there. This is, we have Google all around the um, house. We love Google. We have Chromecast. That's how we connect to everything. We really, really like it. Um, and last year I got a Google mini for this room and now we're going to just save it for when we get a house. Um, but I wanted something that I could put, because I like to put my ambient rooms on. If you guys don't know, I have a whole ambient room playlist. I love to share this with people because it's changed my life. And now those of you who do watch them, love them just as much as I do. Just a bunch of different ambient rooms, just rooms, Christmas themed rooms, ocean, winter cozy cabin, New Year's Eve, Starbucks cafes like just rooms that makes you feel like you're out and about and it's just wonderful I love them. Anyway, I like to watch them a lot when I go to sleep at night But our TV is just way too bright and so my husband and I like to have white noise at night And so that little guy has come in such handy because I can have the room on it's cozy If I look over I can see it and I feel like I'm there But it's not super bright that it's hard for us to sleep or we're getting like sleep disturbances at night We get to have the room playing all night because they're normally like eight to ten hours so we can have the ambient noise 
noise without it just taking up a whole lot of power or energy as well as it being too bright. It's been such a good gift. So if you are like me and like to play white noise at nighttime all the night, uh, throughout the night, um, and you like to switch it up and don't want to just have one sound from like a sound machine, or you want to have rooms on, or just like a nice glow, I love it. Also, it's also a Google Assistant, which is its main purpose anyway, and I will say that this is actually way more effective than the little nests, not nests, the little minis. Um, I thought they would probably be equal in their abilities as far as like the actual Google commands and doing stuff, but she's just way more effective. I don't know if it's just better technology or whatnot. I would assume so, I guess, but um, the actual Google Assistant is just way better on the Nest Hub than it is on the little mini guy. Um, although that one still works great as well. I just find that she's just a lot easier. She just understands better. Um, we just love it. I don't know what else to say. Highly recommend if you like Google products and you like you are tapped in with your house. I know some people don't feel comfortable with that type of stuff, which I totally understand. There are times where we're like, maybe we shouldn't do this. But then I feel like the benefits just outweigh the cons. At least at the moment, I'll let you know if they start retaliating against us. But this was on sale and I think it's still on sale. I definitely recommend this if you got some gift cards to use up. This is so freaking cool. All right, moving on to more beauty items. Um, as you guys know, I love me some makeup and normally that's what I feel like the predominant amount of gifts I get are makeup. Um, but this year I just, I asked for more techie items just because I feel like I'm just not wearing as much makeup and I just, there weren't as many releases that I was super into. Um, one of them, however, that I had to have was the Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse Palette. The past number of years now, Jazz has bought me a Lunar Beauty Palette, um, and it's become like our little tradition. I love, I love Manny, but on top of that, I love Lunar Beauty. It is fantastic quality. The shadows, the highlighters, the lip products, everything is super, super great quality. I typically pretty dominantly use higher end eyeshadows. I just feel like they work better um, than like Maybelline or CoverGirl at the drugstore. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's just what I personally prefer. Um, but even amongst the higher end eyeshadows, I feel like Luna Beauty just soars in their abilities. It's just so pigmented, so creamy, so beautiful. It's insane. Um, I mean, have it on my eyes tonight, this or today. This is the Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse Palette. Just stunning packaging too. Like he is so, creative i feel like with his packaging it's just an experience it's so beautiful i just i love it i love the giant moon that is holographic and then has it's like embossed so it's like rising from the top and then it comes with a giant mirror and then these are the shadows it's really beautiful fun like neutral smoky palette just stunning like honestly if you've never tried lunar beauty you're totally missing out it is incredible makeup I highly recommend it and for the price I feel like it is totally justifiable. It's not super super high and expensive or anything like that. I feel like it's definitely worth it. Highly recommend Lunar Beauty if you have not tried them yet. On that Lunar Beauty train there's also three lip colors. Um, he re-released Zaya which is his dog's name um, and he made a lipstick kind of in her color and this is a liquid lipstick. It's the only liquid lipstick I've purchased from him. These are comfort mattes. Um, I'm kind of getting over my liquid lipstick obsession. I feel like everyone else is too because it's just not super comfortable, but they smell like the MAC lipsticks, which I love that smell. They smell great. I, it's a really comfortable formula. It's really beautiful. This one's like a terracotta brown shade. You can see like that. It's kind of similar to what I'm wearing. I should have worn this one actually. Um, Beautiful packaging, again, it just feels luxurious. And then like, even the inside, he would put a little moon. Like I just, the thoughts, I feel like it's just like I said, it's an experience, which I just really, really appreciate when it comes to makeup brands. Um, and they're all cruelty, and I believe vegan. Cruelty free, and I believe vegan. Um, and then, I got two lip glosses. This was in Celine, and this is in Starlight. Once again, two very beautiful, this one's like a really, really pretty, um, kind of goldy, a golden shimmer. Beautiful and stunning. Also, smells incredible. Probably can't see that, but there's Starlight, or no, Celine. Um, which I also think he re-released. 
got back in stock and then this one is starlight which is a bit more of a pinker base shade yeah this one's a bit more pink and a bit more opaque so that's starlight just stunning i mean they're it's just really great if you like higher end lip products i definitely recommend definitely recommend the eyeshadows um but if you also like to splurge on your lip products these are great um, moving on, this is something that I asked for that I took off my list because I just thought it was too expensive and he must have seen it before I took it off. Um, and this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Mini. This thing is so freaking expensive. It's stunning. It's just this beautiful gold palette. It has a mirror and then four very small shades. I took it off because I was like, this is just not worth the price. It's just not. He found it. He purchased it. Guys, I was going to take this back because I was like, I just, there's just no way. I just don't want, I don't feel okay. Used it. Do I still think it's probably worth the price? Probably not. But the powders, this is my first time using the Hourglass powders, the ambient powders. I don't know what they do, but they are so beautiful. Like, and I didn't think that these would be effective because they're so small, but they are. Like, everything about this palette, you still can get a brush in. Like, it's just stunning it's so so beautiful like hourglass man i don't know what to say i don't know how they do it it is truly like this brand to me like just screams luxury like it's just luxury to me and it's i love it i'm it's so so pretty so if you've been kind of thinking about it i definitely recommend trying it if you want to and have the money to splurge because it is really like the hype the hype is there um he got me this lip glossary, which is a 16 piece deluxe lip vault from Ulta. I love lip products for Christmas time. I love the holiday lip collections. I just, sometimes everything else is hit and miss. I feel like with a lot of things when they're holiday edits, but lip products typically are pretty consistent. And um, I've never had any Ulta lip products before, but I decided to try them out because this one looked so cute. It had a ton. There's tinted lip oils in here, sheer lip glosses, high shine liquid lipsticks, and matte liquid lipsticks. And there's just a bunch of different colors and shades. They're super cute, super easy to bring with you. Um, and they're just adorable. So I am wearing one of them today. I'm wearing this one right here. And I really like it. It's kind of, it's kind of like this like grungy 1990s vibe to me. Um, but they're just really fun. I really like this. This was pretty inexpensive. I feel like this would have been really good for like a teen girl. Um, so if you have anybody you know you need to buy a gift for still or some birthdays coming up this i feel like would be like a fun option moving on to kind of a bigger item that jazz spoiled me with i put some items on there and was just like okay you know if you want to get one get one but he got them all and i feel like this was a year that he definitely spoiled me and i'm so thankful but one of the big items he got me was a nintendo switch um i used to play video games growing up all the time with my brothers i have only brothers we used to play super nintendo nintendo 64 gamecube xbox sega all of them playstation all of them we loved them and then as i got older i just never really was back into video games just never felt like my thing i have played the heck out of the sims though i love the sims <laughs> excuse me still to this day i love the sims but i wanted something that i could just zone out to the world has been tough it's been hard we're home a lot um, I have been really stressed and I find that I will spend hours on my phone at night just looking at articles, reading things, being in forums, being on boards, and my anxiety is just going through the roof and I've been struggling a lot with just really bad anxiety, depression, and I know the coming months are going to be really hard because this is when my seasonal depression just kicks in super deep and then we're also still staying indoors and the virus is just so scary right now. And so this is something I put on my list just to give myself some joy, some distraction, some easy entertainment. Um, and I'm really excited that I did. This is so much fun. I freaking loved it. I didn't know if it was going to be as great as I thought it was going to be. And it totally is. I highly recommend this Switch Lite. I don't have the original system, but for me, I just wanted it for me. I didn't want it, you know, to have to like worry about hooking up to the TV and stuff. I just wanted something easy that I can play in bed at night or wherever. If I'm in the bathroom, which happens a lot for me, my bowel issues, something that would just be easy and fun to use. Um, I he got me the coral color, and then he also got this little case for it. It's so cute. I love the ombre fun, and it came with these little keypads, little paw keypads, toggles. Um, and I've been mostly playing Super Nintendo. They have online, they have a lot of my 
all-time fave Super Nintendo games like Donkey Kong and all the Mario, classic Marios, Super Marios, I freaking am just like, living and it's been so much fun. Um, and he also got me a couple of games. This is like the one that's like so popular for everyone and their mother right now is the Animal Crossing New Horizons. I haven't played it yet, but I want to. Donkey Kong Country, Country Tropical Freeze. I love Donkey Kong. And then Yoshi's Crafted World. This has been really fun. I actually have been playing this one and it's just so cute. Like it's such a cute game and I love the graphics on this. It's so fun. Um, anyway, this is also really fun for my girls to be able to play with me and kind of get into and so they can have like fun on this as well. Um, but big gift. Love it. Definitely worth the hype. Another sweet gift he got me was a Kindle Paperwhite. Um, and he got this really, really cute case to go on it. This is just from Amazon, but it's a little composition book and it's so cute. Um, I love to read. I've gotten really back into reading lately. I kind of took a break from it. It's another thing that I just want to escape with. Reading's always been a big joy for me. Um, but I prefer to have a book and I use a library a lot, but sometimes I want to just be able to have it right then instantly. Sometimes it's cheaper um, than actually buying the book and the library a lot of times has, especially the books I want to read are always like on w long wait lists. And so I wanted something that I didn't have to buy the books with because I just don't have the space. If I had a big opportunity to have a big office with a library, 100% would buy books but I don't have the space for that here. Um, and I just feel like it's a bit more environmental friendly to do it digitally. And so, not probably by much, but by at least something. Um, and so I got this bad boy. I'm so excited. I can't wait to really start using it. Um, Kindles can just be so much cheaper too, like the uh, Kindle version of it. And so, I don't know, I'm, I'm pumped. I've been reading things on my phone, but it's just not the same. It's just way too small, it's heavy. This is just nice. The weight distribution is really nice on it. It also has an audible version and app so you can have it read to you. Um, I freaking love it. This one also comes like this little guy. You can pull out this guy and he becomes a little stand. So love it. I'm so excited about it. I know Kindles are probably like not the cool hip thing. Like when I was setting it up, my husband was like, what is this? because it's just such a simple electronic it's nothing fancy it doesn't have a whole lot of bells and whistles but it's just for reading and I think it's perfect so if you have a reader in your life Kindles are a great way great way to go pajamas I got this year I always share my pajamas um, are these cute little ones these are from secret treasures from Walmart I've already worn the crap out of them they need to be washed but I just love them they're all these fun presents and they're so cute they're incredible incredibly comfortable really nice stretchy I don't like really heavy pajamas I don't like the fleece pajamas I don't even really like the thermal like high knit ones I like something that's lightweight and easy because I get hot at night I like to wear loose fitting clothes um, at nighttime and these are just so gosh darn adorable I love them the pants are kind of like joggers at the end they get a little tight at the ankles um, these were from Walmart they also came with a pair of socks Secret Treasures is such a good line at Walmart. They have the cutest loungewear, the cutest pajamas. Highly recommend them if you've never checked them out. They're so affordable and so cute. All right, so my present that my mom got me, um, besides like filling my stockings up, is she got me a vacuum. I will have a picture of it. Um, we have desperately needed a vacuum and have not repurchased one we've had one since we got married and it just was not working or cut fit in the bill and so we've needed one we just had our fifth anniversary we desperately need a new vacuum for years so my mom found this one it was on a really great special um and she bought it and i love it my husband freaking loves it it's super cool it's a shark vacuum it's not cordless like all the dysons and stuff like that but honestly that's not a really big issue for us we live in a very small place um but it has a light on it which I didn't think would be as effective or as like cool. It is so cool. It is so, the lights are amazing to vacuums. I didn't know it was a thing. It's super lightweight, super powerful, really easy to maneuver. We love it. It also can like detach and become all these things and everything like that. It's very similar to like the Dyson. Um, we love it. And it's definitely a fraction of the price. Highly recommend if you're looking for a new vacuum. Um, we were really excited for a vacuum. <laughs> And then lastly, um, my husband got me this one. This is another way too much of a just spoiling item, but it is a 
pack of air when you say pack of air they're airpods apple airpods um i have i actually did a video with um a wireless earbud uh company here called and they were the tall ones um and i loved them i think they're wonderful gosh darn earbuds the quality the luxury they're great but my freaking ears can't hold anything besides apple sized ear pods it's annoying we have tried everything i even got those galaxy earbuds for my husband for christmas um, i was looking into find like custom fitting little things that you can put on them um, because it comes with like six sets of different like fittings and nothing fits because my ears are just annoying and so um I was looking into getting the like you can custom made it and like it's like a putty basically and you just stick it in but my husband knew that I was struggling but I really really loved them I loved the wireless abilities I loved those ear pods earbud earbuds um and so he ended up surprising me with these and they've been super great once again they just fit better the sound quality of the other ones were better um, there's a lot of unique abilities and the other ones that I liked better but just the efficiency connected to my phone was just really easy with these and they just fit I don't feel them that's also kind of an issue because I fall asleep with them in all the time I forget they're in my ears I'm gonna lose them one day and that's a that's a worry um, but I do really love them they were all the ear bought ear pods were on sale this Christmas time and so he picked these up I really really like them they work really really well um, they fit perfectly in my ears and the thing that I really like is they're so customizable you can buy so so many cute little case covers i'm gonna get one the other or soon and it's like they have so many kawaii themed style ones they're so cute you can get like silicone to go around the ear pods to kind of create that seal sound that you really want i'm so excited i didn't know that there's so many custom customizable options i'm so excited but these are my last gift um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video once again i hope that you don't feel like i'm trying to shove it in your face and be like look what i got because that's not my intention at all i hope that i gave you some ideas if you have a birthday coming up or if you're looking to get some ideas for the woman in your life um or the man in your life whomever um or you just are nosy and enjoy these like i do i hope that you had fun and enjoyed this video um i'm really looking forward to 2021 i hope you guys are too and my next video will be my um year in a life every second of my day of 2021 this will be my third year that i'm posting or 2020 this will be my third year that i'm posting that i've done the past two years and it's been such a gift to be able to have especially after losing my dad and just the times have changed in the past three years and it's been a huge gift and I highly recommend you guys doing that um doing a second of the day and putting it all together it'll be something that it'll be rewarding year after year after year and so that is my next video coming up um and then we are going to be on to 2021 so I will see you guys very soon in my next video thank you guys so much so much for watching and happy Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, happy new year. Um, I'm excited to see you in 2021. Bye guys.